Hello again from the Big South Network studio. I'm Mark Bryant, and this is our football preview for 2021, all part of Big South Football Media Days. We are very happy to have with us right now Coach Robert Prunty of the Hampton Pirates. Coach, thank you so much. Yeah, great to be here. Let's, right now it's great to be anywhere, right? After some <laughs> exactly. time where there was nothing going on. Let's talk about pandemic world for a second. The shutdown took the Pirates down for the entire 2021 season. How did you keep in contact with the team and help them through that period? And, and what were they doing to stay in shape? I mean, it was, you know, that's a long time to not be a program person to person. I agree. Um, a lot of zooming, a lot of zooming. I think uh, we probably, we Zoom five days a week. Uh, we continuously talking. We took a three-way approach with them. We dealt with first academically. We wanted to know how they were doing academically, you know, being virtual, which, you know, that's always tough. You can't get the proper tutoring you want. And the second thing was we talked to them about their physical conditioning. You know, were they working out? And some of them would have their phones with them showing us they working out and, and telling them how important it was, even though we, you know, we didn't know exactly when they would get back because this pandemic is a, this is a new playbook for us. And, and then the third thing was the mental health, just making sure that they were okay as far as, you know, a lot of people lost loved ones, a lot of people got sick, and family members. So I think the main thing we got out of it was is that we became closer as a team, but also we learned that, uh, you know, tough times don't last, you know, and tough people do. Excellent, excellent. What what challenges are you facing now from not having a season of practices behind you? And how are you getting the team back to normal? What, does it change expectations at all for you? Yeah, it's a slow process because keep in mind, our guys haven't been there since last March, which is what, like a year and a half. So we haven't had nothing organized until they come into the, the June, this June, the uh, first session of summer school. So you gotta be slow. You got to be patient. You want to get it all at one time, but they got, you got to constantly tell them, listen, you know, we got teams that's been here for a year. You know, they played spring ball. You know, you got to, you always run into, you know, when we're out there working out them soft tissue muscles, you got to be careful hamstrings and, you know, different things. But so far, the guys have been working hard. The biggest thing is staying close to the trainers, listening to the trainers, hydrating, eating properly, uh, especially when you haven't been working out. But you've been doing these homemade workouts at home because remember the gyms were closed also. So these guys went through a lot, but I, I thought our guys did, you know, what they could possibly do being at home. I thought they did a good job of keeping themselves in, in, in physical condition. Right. Well, let's look at the schedule here and, and even conference play is a little different now. <laughs> the makeup of the league has shifted somewhat. New members, North Carolina A&T and Robert Morris, what does it mean in, from your perspective to have that kind of growth? And, and also, what does it mean to have a familiar rival in the Aggies back on the schedule? Right. Right. I think it's great. I think it's great for the fans. I think it's great for the Big South. You know, having A&T back, man, what a great program. And Sam Washington, a great football coach, uh, you know, played for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, player, you can see how the players love him. I always look at the video of him when they beat East Carolina. You know, uh, just, just a great football coach. But the thing about it is his players play hard. They're fundamentally sound. They're well coached. a and is a great program. Only, to me, on the brinks of a dynasty, you know, in the last 10 years. After Sam taking over for Coach Broadway, just, a, you know, first class, the athletic director, the alumni, the fans. I mean, it's just, it's unbelievable. You know, I went there for homecoming, and it's just great. And for us to be able to come back and play against them, I think it's great. It's great for college football. And Robert Morris, Bernard Clark, you know, me and Bernard have been friends for a while, you know, back when he played at the University of Miami. A great guy, good football coach. Uh, I had a chance to, you know, watch on film when they played uh, James Madison the first game, played them tough. Man, they're going to be tough. These are two tough opponents. I mean, you know, the Big South, man, it's, you know, it, the bar is high now. I mean, it's, it's great to have those two teams in our conference. Let's talk about the non-conference part of your schedule as well. What have you got lined up for the Pirates this year? Well, we, we got that rivalry, we, you know, and it's always good to have it. It goes way back to, like, I think 1930 something against Virginia Union. We'll open up with them. It's been there. It's a good thing. And then the second game, we go over to Old Dominion. That's a great game, you know, 15 miles apart. You know, we always say cross town or cross city, whatever you want to say, or across the river, 
across the lake or whatever, you know, across the ocean. But it's great to have an opportunity to go play ODU. And I think it's good for our fans down there, especially in that 757 area. And then it's got a little recruiting to it, too. You know, you win that game, that, that helps you recruiting wise. And then we bring back one of the oldest rivals in football, and that's Howard University. That's going to be a great game up at Howard, up, up in DC. And uh, it's always great to have that game. And so we're looking forward to that. But then they bring back the oldest one, the Battle of the Bay, Norfolk State. And that's, that's a big one. That's the one that's been, you know, I played in it and, uh, you know, everybody came to it. It's exciting. And uh, they got a new coach and Coach Odom, who's an outstanding coach. And, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be great. I mean, it's been a lot of changes, you know, once again, going back to Howard, uh, you know, Larry is down there and uh, Larry's a good coach. He just came down. So it's, we got a great non-conference schedule and we, you know, the Big South is always tough. To say you've got a rival every week, Coach. Yeah, you better I mean, watch yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> coach Pronti, thank you for your time. The Hampton Pirates are getting ready for the season. We wish them the best of luck, and we thank you for watching another part of our football preview for 2021.